Yo, what's going on guys? Kevin here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a medieval style armory. That's kind of what I'm going to call it. I don't exactly know what it is. So something I used to do a lot is I just kind of go load up a build world or a world where I just have a ton of builds and I just start placing blocks and I'd see where it leads me. And this was one of those moments, as you saw at the start of this, uh, at the start of this build, I kind of just have a circle in front of me. And I just kind of go off from there. I just kind of let my mind do its own thing. So it's something I used to do a whole lot. I wouldn't really have any set direction. And I'm going to put some screenshots and or footage right here. of a build world I've got on the PS4 that I kind of did that same thing with. I've done this for years. I had one on the PS Vita and I had one on the PS3. If I could find those worlds again, I would love to, but I know I'm never going to find them. So unfortunately, you're going to have to look at the PS3 one. But yeah, it's just something I like doing. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of these where I just kind of hop into a world and just start building and see where it leads me. I normally don't have any plan when I start to build, except for... I, the theme I suppose I'm going for, so take the suburban house over here. I knew I was going suburban, so I knew I'd stick around with a palette that evolved, or revolved around that. And then, uh, you know, just standard survival with this tower over here. And with this, I had no idea. I just had a circle in front of me, and I'm like, let's see what I can do with it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.
And there you guys have it, a fairly simple, question mark, uh, medieval armory thing. Like I said, I have no idea what I was going for here. I just know I like it. I think this looks really, really cool, and I definitely want to build this in a survival world now. Now, I do think there's some improvements to be made, and that's something that you should always take into account when you're building. Number one is this roof. I, I just, for the life of me, couldn't figure out what kind of roof design I wanted to go for. I wanted something more spherical, but I just couldn't really get the sphere to work in my mind, because I think of this A-frame up here, and that's where it makes this kind of like A-design, as you can probably tell. And it just makes more sense here, but this is just way too flat. So, I don't know, I think over uh, on this side, there could be an argument to be something like this, but then it gets just too 90 degree -y here. So, you know, I'm at this point where I'm like, dang, I want to improve this, but I just don't know how. And honestly, I kind of like this roof, so I'm going to stick with it. There's definitely improvements to be made there, like I said. But, yeah, all in all, I really like this design, and I think it's a really cool house. So, I hope this gives you a good idea on how I go about building, and you can take it take that information and work around it how you want to build it's kind of a proof of concept and this is just a good point of just kind of place blocks and let your mind do the rest it really worked out in this case oh another thing that needs to be improved is a minecraft thing they need glass that can fit in between this gap i don't think glass would make sense in this building like i said it's medieval glass in medieval times was a thing it was just super super expensive and they wouldn't use it for something as impractical as an armory and then um i was really going for a rafter design up here and i think i got a decent uh design for it and obviously can't uh lanterns don't really hang off of rafters that is not very safe they're too heavy and uh, they don't have a good tensile strength uh, down like this, so logically it doesn't make sense, but this is Minecraft, so you can shove it. <laughs> and just throwing around physics. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you really liked it and you want to see more, be sure to consider subscribing. I highly appreciate it. Um, I'm aiming to hit 50 subscribers. Uh, I'm at a really good flow right now actually with channel growth so if you guys want to help me hit 50 subscribers i'd highly appreciate that and i definitely plan to do more of these videos so once again thank you for watching i love you all and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace